Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're returning, if you're new here, my name is Tori and I am going to be planning for October. Um, I'm, I am conflicted because yes, it's October, thank God, we are almost at the finish line. And sorry about the blinds, I'll have to fix that, give me just a second. Okay, um, as I was saying, I'm conflicted because, like, yeah, we're getting there, but at the same time, um, it still feels like summer outside in Mississippi. It is like a regular 87 degrees, um, on a good day. The humidity is going down, but <sighs> it's almost like a tease. It's not even, like, I don't even get excited when the humidity goes down because I'm like, it'll be back tomorrow, so, um... I feel personally victimized by my state's weather, and that is all. So, I have my work um, monthly plans already in my ring planner, um, because instead of planning ahead like I normally do in my Hobonichi, I have been writing down my programs on my monthly calendar in my rings when I take it to work. So I'm up to date on what's coming up for the month. So what I'm going to do is reference my rings and put it all in my Hobonichi just so I can have one more place. Um, and plus it's fun and it's, you know, it's a hobby too. So I really, really like duplicating the information as well just to remind myself what's happening and catch anything that falls through the cracks. Um, stuff still falls through the cracks because I am a human being, but it's less likely to do so when I have it in multiple places and write it down multiple times. So I'm going to move this to the side and pull out my monthly. Um, all right, so... May, June, July, August, September, October. No, wow. All right, so um, one of the things that I, in, like I usually do when I have this big of a difference in the sides of the Hobonichi because it has now gotten super she's thick, um, all I do is I just kind of take a big chunk of it and split it in half um you know sometimes the cover protests but that's okay and it is what it is these are the these are the things that we have to do when we have a chonky monster so I'm trying to figure out a way to do this that'll cooperate with me I may just have to smush it to make it work but this little thing is a workhorse, so I'm not afraid of smushing it. Um, but yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to like hold that side down with the Moterm. So, this month I am going to use the Shine Sticker Studio monthly subscription kit. Um, this week, or this month, it came with like a Wednesday theme. And it came with this really cool like um, keychain. It says golf girl with purple sparkles and a black skull and I thought that was really neat so um definitely worth what you pay for it and more so like you're getting way more than what you're paying for so these are the sheets that I have I've used these I don't like to use them in my monthly because I feel like they take up so much room so I use them in the daily and I've already put them in my dailies wow I just split it and chonk. <sighs> that was me realizing that I can't flip to October in my dailies because I, I did the thing where I had to split the Hobonichi in half so that I could get it to lay flat. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I think I'll do some washi and then we'll find some stuff to work with here. Um, and I think I am going to double up on the skulls and the knives because these, if I don't end up using them in October, I don't feel as much, like, I don't feel like that would be hard to move to a different month. Whereas I feel like 
the knives and skulls. Are, they're pretty October, you know? <laughs> so. All right. Y'all, I am so hype for this year to be over. I know I say that, like, in a lot of videos, but it's because it's so true. <laughs> um, it, it just, it, this year, and I've talked to a lot of people, and not a lot of people I've talked to about, you know, are you excited for the year to be over, or are you, like, did you have a good year? Most of them are like, yes, let's, let's move on, because from what I'm understanding in my qualitative research, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, it ain't been a good year for a lot of people, which, relatable. So, I'm just really excited. And I have been watching some movies now that we are, like, fully into October. Um, I say fully, like, it's not October the 1st. But, um, now that we're, like, here to stay, I have been... Pressing the accelerator down on the um, Halloween movies that I've been watching. And while I did watch, like, some scary movies, um, okay, just, like, messing this washi up. We'll cover it up. It'll be fine. Um, while I have been watching, like, some scary movies, I actually watched some Disney throwbacks the other night. Um... And by throwbacks, I mean, like, late 90s movies, I think, or early 2000s. And, um, I was watching Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire, which, oh, that one was really corny. And then I was also watching, um, The Phantom of the Megaplex, which is not as corny, but still pretty corny. And then, um... That's what I watched last night, and I want to watch, like, the Twitches movies, and, uh, what else? There's Halloween Town, obviously, but I, I don't, I like to wait later, closer to Halloween, to watch Halloween Town, because it's, like, it, it feels like it's so specific to Halloween that I don't want to watch it sooner, and then have, like, the vibes thrown off. I'm really weird about, like, having the vibes thrown off, if that makes sense. Like, so for example, if there's a book that I really liked the first time I read it, I will wait years to reread it because I'm terrified that I'm not going to like it again the second time. Um, and that's kind of like the same part of my brain that is, I guess, lights up when I think about when I want to watch specific holiday movies because I get nervous that I'm not going to like it or I pull the trigger too soon on it and then I'm like, okay, you know, and it's just, I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> that's all I can say. I am weird and that's okay because weird, in my opinion, is good. Um, but yeah, so I also am weird in that I've never watched the Wednesday show. I know I should, but another part of my brain, when something's a fad or something's really popular in pop culture, my brain is like, mm, you don't want to watch that. And I don't know why I'm like that. Like, there is no reason to be like that. But my brain's just like, meh, it doesn't need help, you know? Like, it doesn't need your viewership. Everybody else is talking about it. I don't know. Um, but so yeah, it's kind of where I'm at with that. And so putting these down, I don't know if I'll put the weekend. I mean, I guess I could. Nah, let's save it. Okay. Um, and then we'll put the RIP gravestone. And that looks like it's begging for me to write down October. Um, so I'm going to. <laughs> okay. That's cute. I like that. Alright. Then we'll put these little lip thingies. What do I want? Oh, yeah. Let's take the knife off. If we can. 
may be stuck there. Mm. And October is also a big, I wouldn't say it's a huge month for us at the library, but it's significant in that we have our haunted library event and we also have um we have an anniversary event this month because it's 50 years that we've been in our building um and then we also oh what else i have to go to a like touch a truck type event so there's that too there's just going to be a lot going on this month. Okay, so I also have some birthdays this month, and I'll mark them with the rose. I'm getting ahead of myself, though. I kind of want to use, like, a label or something. Um, let's see. Ooh, okay. Put this here. There we go. And then this one with this little black rose down here. And then let's see. We can put this one here. Okay, so now I just go in and I add all of my programs that I have going on. Um, I'm thinking, hear me out, I might get a little crazy here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, just maybe, I'll use those. Yeah, I think I will. I don't know. I just want to use some jelly rolls. I like the way they show up on the Tomoe River paper and it's just cool to cool to look at. So, and they're very very pigmented on the page. So, I like that. Mm, I'm going to put this little candle down here. Okay. So, also got to find my tweezers. I'm gonna use these boxes as like markers for the programs. Oh me. Okay. So I have I'm technically off on this day, but I have to go in for the program that I planned and didn't think about planning. So <laughs> that's my bad, but you know, it'd be like that sometimes. And I need the stats. And I, I can't afford to not have, hold it because I missed last week's and people were not okay with it. So I do not want to make people feel like they're wasting their time when they come to our library. So yeah. All right, put this there and we'll put in these programs the purple and then like when I usually turn it I have to make sure that I take the whole cousin with it because it will crumple the pages on this side if I don't <laughs> all right so it does take it a minute to start and it is a thick line because I believe this is like a 10 uh, 10 millimeter tip so that's just something to be aware of if you're ever in the mood to use the jelly rolls I mean I'm 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 confident that there's smaller tips in these <music>
also um, had a little devastation in the sidebar here, but we're gonna we're gonna look past it. So this is everything that represents something happening at the library that I am going to be doing. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and write these in and speed that up so you guys don't have to sit through all of that, but it's gonna be a busy month for sure. <laughs> so let's get it done. So I ended up only smudging like a couple things, I think. I did get ink over here, but I'd say for the juiciness of these, it's perfectly fine. Um, all I have left to do is write down some reminders over here and then check and see if I want to add anything else. I put like events that don't normally happen in this almost like lighter orangey pink color and then um rotating weeks in the actual pink and then meetings in the green so i could just differentiate them um and yeah so I'm trying to think of what else i don't know that i want to do anything else other than i have these um just put down some some of these roses over here oh i know what i need to do i have a trip that we, okay see this is why we do this <laughs> um well i could just mark these with the roses i guess so what do i want to what color do i want to use for that i think i'll use ooh, or can try this color like this crazy bold Crazy Pop Bold um, gel pens. Tap tips a few times to what? Revive ink. Okay. I was like, what? What are you saying? Okay. It doesn't look like it needs reviving. Uh, all right. So. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is finish writing those to-dos. I think we'll be good. I'm gonna put these down because I know I'm not gonna use them somewhere else. So, just gonna put it down. There. And then all I have left is just like some more date headers, um, like day of the week headers, and then some journaling wash or like torn paper pieces, skulls, and then like other bits of functional stickers along with some washi left but I mean I use a lot of what I have but I always do like that there's stuff left over um just so that you can carry it into different parts of your planner if you wanted to all right so oh and you know what I'm gonna use some of these to put my to-dos down on Not straight, but when is it ever at this point? I've just accepted it as a way of life. All right, and then looks like I need another one.
trying to think what else. So I'm not going to be referencing this calendar during my work day, but a lot of this stuff, seeing it will help me jog my memory to put in my rings. So I kind of like go back and forth on what I'm referencing and how I'm using the different planners. So I'm going to just pop these. No, you guys, <gasps> guess what I remembered? I remembered to do the monthly page and the dailies. Look at me go. She can, she, oh, dogs can, you know, learn new tricks. Okay. Here's an example of how I use the date covers in the daily. Um, this was from the Shine Sticker Studio. I believe these were August subscription kit and it was like a fair theme. So I just put in my dailies. Um, but yeah, so for the monthlies, all I do, for anyone who may be watching who isn't familiar, I put like books read, watching, and listening to um, for what I usually do. So I think I'm gonna use some more of this stuff just to keep with the theme. Um, so chunky. It is so chunky. <laughs> oh man, but that's okay. I mean, it's physically representative of the year and a lot of crap has happened this year. So it makes sense that my planner reflects that. And I don't think I've ever had a planner reflect it so well before, which I kind of find, I don't know if endearing is the right word, but I do find it, um, I don't know. I find it really cool to see like what the year actually looks like on paper or like a physical representation of what it looks like on paper just because I think it's it gives me a sense of accomplishment and validation like yeah you went through that girl. <laughs> you went through that and you survived so. Um I used up all my deco pretty much so this looks weird but I'll just connect them with this little doodad. And then we'll do hmm. usually use these as the um, labels. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I want like a thicker pen, so I'm gonna grab my inner gel. It's not a Klina, it's just an inner gel pen, 0.7, but I like the barrel, it's cool. So, well, do I wanna use something heavier than that though? I don't know what I could use. I could use a flare, like a paper mate flare, I suppose. If I can find the right one, yeah. And this is like, my sister got me these. So it's not just a Papermate flare, but it's scented. And this one is hazelnut latte. And it do, it doesn't smell like hazelnut latte. It smells like coconut sunscreen, but they tried. Good, good for them. They tried. Um, okay, books. red and then I do want to put a little, a little skull girl I mean I assume it's a girl but it could be a boy whatever don't need to be gendering my stickers <laughs> um okay and then listening to is always the shortest so I'll put it down here because I usually take a while to get through like a podcast or something so, and then this will be watching, which has slowly but surely grown over time. So. Well, 
watching. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that, though. Because that's not going to show up. I don't think I can fix it. So, eh, it's fine. I know what it means. Even if it's not very visible on camera. Maybe it is. I, I can't tell. Listening to. And I think what I'm going to do is use some of these arrows just... Just cause, just cause be like it. Cause why not? Okay, and then I always put this long one that they provide. So that's one sticker sheet, go me. Down, looks like it's gonna run into that, but that's okay. Also, I've been watching like Criminal Minds and Charmed like alternating and it, they are giving like the spooky vibes. So I'm pleasantly, uh, what, what would you say? Pleasantly satisfied is the word I want to use there with how that is going. I do think I, I'll probably want to use a little bit of this. This looks a little, a little, um, naked. And y'all know, I lean towards the maximalism side of sticker usage, but I do hope to change that, um, in the next year. Uh, I don't know if it's as, it sounds like a big deal to me. Maybe it's not to anybody watching, but like trying to curb my sticker use. Wow. It's going to take a lot of self-control. <laughs> Um, I'm, I, and I know that sounds silly, but it really will. Like, I don't, I don't know how to, like, chill out, so. Plus, it gives me serotonin, or dopamine, or whatever. Makes my brain happy. But, at the same time, I want to try to go for, like, a less chonky Hobonichi, because I have ordered the Han, um, and it will be arriving soon, and I'll, I don't know if I plan on, let me know. If you feel like letting me know. Um, if you think I should do like a my 2024 planner plans type of thing. I I don't know if I should. I feel like it is going to be shown eventually. So why do I need a video? I don't know. Let me know if you want me to talk about that. Um, I see other people doing it. It seems to be a thing. But I don't know. It's not something that like. I feel like I I have to do, you know? So, but I'll I'll definitely talk about it if somebody's interested and curious about how I will be using them. But it's going to look pretty much the same uh with the exception of like a different planner rotated in. So, okay. So, that is the monthly for that. I'll put that back. Gonna take all of my gel pens and put them back. And then I do, while it's on my brain, want to update this because I didn't add in that I have been watching Charmed and Criminal Minds. Um, so those are like YouTube channels I watch along with whatever shows I'm watching, so, so if you need, like, YouTube channels, <laughs> well, those are some that I watch, um, and then I think that's everything, I haven't read anything else so far, yeah, all right, um, but yeah, so let's go back to the monthly spread for one. Last look. All right, y'all, that is October for me. This is, again, the Shine Sticker Studio October subscription kit. It'll probably be on sale soon in their shop for those who missed it. And if they have any extras, they usually put them up. So give it a, 
give it a chance if you're interested. Um, even for somebody who hasn't seen the Wednesday TV show, it still works for me. Uh, I, I really enjoy the color combination and how I was able to put it into my calendar. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I love speaking to you all in the comments. It really makes me feel like we have like a little community going on and um, I just love you all so much and your encouragement. Um, so I don't know if you want to talk, let you know, drop a comment. And I hope you'll consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed and giving this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.